starting off a new weekly vlog. It is Monday. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a weekly vlog. I don't think it's just gonna be a few days. We are having a productive day. I have woken up and had just the best morning routine, had a great workout, caught up on so many just random little tasks. I'll run through the things that I need to get done today. But I've been trying lately instead of working out and getting ready and then starting work, I will work out eat breakfast and then do all kind of like my emails and administrative stuff first and i just crank through like an hour worth of all these things i've been putting off and it just feels so good and now i'm able to do kind of the more fun work things for me which is like editing a video working on a thumbnail and if we have time today i would love to run by target too because we're getting some stuff for the house we move in a couple of weeks and so i thought that that would be fun to reward myself for having a productive day by getting a little target run so hopefully we'll get to do that i did want to share my outfit because i am obsessed with this jumpsuit it's so cute i'm thinking about ordering it in a couple of other colors maybe because it is so comfortable i've already worn it for the past three days it is this jumpsuit from free people it kind of looks like a dress when it's together but essentially it has these wide legs I mainly got this because i thought that this would be nice to kind of grow into because it's so loose for summer because right now there's not much right there but eventually there will be and i feel like this will just be nice to have i think the top is super flattering and this is from free people i did read that some of the reviews said some of the colors were see-through and that's why i got black i just think that it's so flattering and comfortable great for maternity but also just normally i would order this too because it is so so cute i'll have it linked down below sitting down at my desk i want to run through what i need to get done today but we do have quite a few boxes back there because we started packing up which is so exciting we're trying to do a lot of it on the weekends because i'm just not able to do kind of as much as i did last year and so aiden's honestly doing most of it we this past weekend moved a bunch of stuff to our storage unit which felt so nice so now only the things in our home are the things we want to bring also the beautiful flowers behind me were from aiden for mother's day they're so sweet he really goes all out with the flowers i'm like no that's the way to my heart and i love how he gets me different ones every time like i never know what i'm gonna get and i think the pink roses were just really sweet but for work things for today the things that i already did i I wanted to run through and organize our finances. I hadn't done that for a while and things are just a little bit confusing right now. I mentioned how we started working with an accountant and so I just had some things to organize there. So we did that, emailed someone else that I needed to for that, caught up on all of just my emails from the weekend that I needed to, called car insurance, which I was needing to do that from the accident that I was in. Thankfully, all that stuff is mostly done. I'm just waiting on being reimbursed for something. So got that done. Yeah, now it's just fun stuff. I'm just gonna finish up the video. Let's do a little Amazon unboxing. I just got a couple packages that one, I'm really excited about because it is something baby related. Okay, this looks huge. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is huge. <laughs> I got this little outfit. It was supposed to be zero to three months. Does that not look like a giant zero to three months? I feel like it's gonna be too hot here by the time that our baby is actually this large, but how cute is that? I got that from Amazon. I got some string lights for our backyard because we have such a cute backyard. Again, I cannot wait to show you guys the house. I'm obsessed. And so I got these Edison bulb lights. I don't want to pull them all out because I'm going to move them to the house in this box. These really warm lights that I want to put in the backyard because I want to try to do a bunch of stuff out there just with like outdoor furniture, make it super cozy. Honestly, it's so funny, it's just kind of thrown in. I've seen these little grip things that a lot of people use for recording videos. Thought I'd pick up one for recording content in the bathroom. You can just stick this on, I think a wall or a mirror, a window or whatever, and it's supposed to make it easier, so. But I think I'm about to head to Target and go look for some guest bedding. The reason why we're trying to do the guest bedroom first for the most part is because we do plan on having people stay with us pretty often now and then of course later on when the baby comes i just think it'll be nice to have a really cozy bedroom so i'll share the things that i've gotten so far i got this rug to put underneath the bed frame the bed frame i haven't ordered yet because i'm trying to time it with when we're moving but it's just this kind of jute rug very neutral i'm keeping the guest bedroom pretty neutral and then i also have two just kind of cheaper king pillows and then i did grab a couple of other king pillows too that we're gonna put on the bed and then here i actually just washed everything so it's all in a trash bag right here but i got all of our bedding from amazon because i wanted to do it pretty cheap and they have some really nice kind of it feels like linen i'm sure it's not 100 linen or anything and the sheets that i got i'll also link these down below are so beyond soft and they were just an incredible price so 
wash all that stuff. But on our bed, we have these giant king pillows. These are from the Costa Luna line from Target, which I love. It's my favorite line at Target. Their stuff is so nice. But these pillows are such a good price because I was trying to find throw pillows that were similar to this where I could just buy the inserts and then get the covers on them. But they're so expensive by the time you do that. And these I think are around $50 each. The only thing is I was really wanting to find them in kind of like a sage green, but they didn't have them. So I think I'm going to definitely just get these if I can't find anything better, but we might stop by Home Goods too and see if we can grab those. And then I also want to try to find some sort of throw blanket, kind of similar to this one. This one is from Bull and Branch. It was definitely more pricey though. And so I want to find something that's a little bit more affordable. I just got to Target. I've had the best drive. Every now and then I crave listening to 90s and early 2000s like girly pop music and I found the best playlist. So I'll link it down below. It is such a vibe. same exact pillows that we have on our bed. I wanted to do a different color and I originally I had the gray in my cart but then I was thinking about the duvet cover I got. It's a really light tan but it really pulls warm tone and so I felt like that would look weird. So I just got the same cream ones. They're really great pillows so we're gonna use those. And then I also found a floor lamp. I'll put a picture of it right here because you have to assemble it but I've seen this a lot of different places and I just think it's the cutest lamp. I don't know if we're gonna put this in the guest room or the living room. We'll definitely put it somewhere in the house. We don't really have a lot of floor lamps and I definitely prefer that over overhead lighting so I'm excited to use that. I'm so excited for dinner because we are making spaghetti which I hardly ever make for some reason unless it's just throwing sauce with noodles when I don't really feel like doing much but I've really been wanting to make like a homemade meat sauce and I looked up a lot of different bolognese recipes and they took four hours plus and that's just not where I'm at right now and so I'm trying a recipe that looks pretty simple I think you just simmer it for an hour ish it's probably better if you simmer it even longer but it looks really good so I'll link it down below and I also like that it has peppers in it especially right now I'm all into kind of sneaking in vegetables where I can because I don't love eating salads I try to eat them still but it just does not sound super great still and so I love any way I can kind of sneak in some vegetables and sauce is really easy for that I'm also planning on adding in red pepper flavor and then also a tablespoon ish of maple syrup which I know kind of sounds weird but for some reason adding maple syrup to sauces if you're someone who likes sweeter things I just think it makes sauce taste so so good so I'm also going to do that with it and I think I'm going to make a salad with a homemade Italian dressing because it's really easy to make homemade Italian dressing and it just tastes so much better so if I have everything for that I think that we'll also try to make that Good morning, it is Tuesday. I just got back from walking cash and going to the gym. I really didn't do anything at the gym. I just walked because I'm not feeling the best this morning. Definitely just very sluggish and still feeling a little bit sick. But I wanted to share two things. One, this is the Starbucks order that I've been getting. I'm just now kind of getting back into coffee. And even this, I usually don't drink the whole thing, but I've been loving getting a tall iced coffee. And then I add a light amount of the cinnamon sweet cream cold foam. And it's really, really good. It's like the perfect amount of coffee for me. But I wanted to share this package too, because this is actually for our gender reveal. We're doing something with cash. It's not for a few more weeks, but I wanted to order this because I just think it's so cute. Got him this bandana that says big brother i think it's so cute this is really well made too it's definitely like a nicer bandana but oh my gosh it's so cute i cannot cannot wait for him to wear this we're just doing something small with family and then if any of our friends want to come oh my goodness you guys it's so <laughs> cute i'm about to take cash to get a bath we discovered that there's a place called uptown pup which is also our favorite dog store in dallas they have these self-wash stations that make it so much easier for giving your dog a bath especially if you're in an apartment it's only around i think like 15 dollars to use them but it just makes it so much easier i don't really feel the need to get cash groomed because the only thing he really needs are his nails have to be trimmed every now and then but for the most part he doesn't get 
get a trim or anything and I can just wash him myself and this is so much cheaper and it's kind of fun too. I'll try to get some clips when I'm in there. He is definitely overdue for a bath so let's do it. Back home now, I picked up a salad from Chick-fil-A because if you know, I have been obsessed with their wraps lately, but I recently just upgraded to salads because I really like their Southwest salad, but you have to get it with the chicken nuggets instead of the grilled chicken. Obviously the grilled chicken is healthier, but it tastes so good with the nuggets. And then I always get the honey mustard and it is delicious. Good morning, it's the next day. I did not end up walking too much last night, but I wanted to show you guys my stomach in the morning versus the evening because I just think it's crazy. I just woke up, it's about 7.30, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, but this is my belly in the morning. <laughs> it's like absolutely nothing. This kind of looks like what I looked like before, maybe just like a little bit more bloated. There's nothing, I'm almost 15 weeks today. It just <laughs> looks totally normal. And here's at night. I don't know if you can really tell that big of a difference, but it definitely sticks out more. I mean, this is kind of just like what naturally happens with your stomach throughout the day anyways, though. But I am really excited to have like a real bump. It does feel just, I don't know. I do feel pregnant, but at the same time I don't because there really isn't much here, but I know in a month or so it'll really start feeling more real. But until then, this is what we're working with. And last night too, for the first time ever, I've not done this before, but it was 3 a.m. And I didn't really eat enough dinner last night. That's been one of my biggest issues. If I don't eat a big dinner, I feel so much more nauseous in the morning, but I just have not been super hungry at night. 3 a.m. though, I just had the urge that I needed to eat something so i woke up and ate a bunch of cheese cubes and two hawaiian rolls just, just so unlike me i never eat in the middle of the night like that it was so random i felt like i was like a mouse scavenging at 3 a.m and then i just got back in bed and went back to sleep <laughs> so random My air wrap i have been using it so much more lately i feel like i'm finally getting the hang of it more i'm still not perfect but i am definitely figuring out the bangs more just how i like it i think it looks super cute i am actually filming a video today i'm filming my first trimester recap i've been so excited for this video i have so many notes i think that i'm just gonna go ahead and record it edit it get it all ready to go for saturday i still have a couple of days i don't usually do everything at once but i've been really excited anytime i'm really excited about a video i just want to get it all done i want to do the thumbnail so i wanted to talk about this because when we had our 11 week appointment and I'm about to plop myself on the couch and grind away at this video, try to get as much of it done as I can as far as editing goes. But I just got a super fun package from Carly Jean. They're so sweet and wanted to send me some of their pieces. Always wanted to try some of their pieces. It really feels like Christmas because I have no idea what they sent over. You're blocking my camera. I didn't even realize they had a baby line, but I think that this is like a breastfeeding cover, but it's so pretty and it's so soft. Oh my goodness. I had no idea that they had a whole baby line. That's awesome. We have a comfy knit sweater this would be so cute when we go to rhode island because it'll still probably have some like 60 degree days on the beach and this was shorts they messaged me quite a bit ago but i told them that i was pregnant so i was like anything that just is really kind of loose and comfy i would really prefer so most of these things are just comfortable and easy to throw on we have cardigan i love myself a nice cream fuzzy cardigan this is so soft we have a comfy sweatshirt oh my goodness this stuff is so nice i love that this one is oversized too oh my goodness this looks so comfy little malibu sweatshirt have a pair of joggers oh my goodness they're just oh nice these are actually not joggers these are just sweatpants which i honestly like more i don't really love when things kind of are tight around my ankles oh so soft love it they are speaking my language with this package i'm so excited to wear all this we have a pair of linen pants oh my goodness these look so 
so comfortable. I love anything that's just linen and lightweight. We have a long maxi dress, has these fluttery straps and then goes down into such a beautiful maxi. I love this. This is like my ideal outfit right now. This is my ideal capsule wardrobe. How amazing. A flowy maxi skirt. I've been wearing these like non-stop also the sizing is perfect i told them kind of loosely what my sizes were but these all look like they're gonna fit perfect perfectly i think that this is a swaddle i'm pretty sure this also says baby but it's that same pretty green floral pattern we have a nice tank top this is so soft and lastly oh this is so sweet too we have another little mini dress love it i love that these are not super short too i love when dresses are just a good length i just found the note that they wrote which is so sweet and i did notice they gave me a code too you guys can use my code michelle 20. i'm guessing that gives you 20 percent off since it says michelle 20. but thank you so much carly jean i will definitely be wearing these a lot in the vlogs in the coming future i'm mostly excited for this dress i'm probably gonna wear this tomorrow because it is just too too cute it is thursday we're out and about i was just doing some work this morning shooting some other content today i'm running a bunch of errands some house stuff i need to get some groceries a target run for just a bunch of different toiletry items that i ran out of all of these places happen to be right next to my favorite thrift store for baby and kid clothes it's called once upon a child i talked about them in a vlog recently that i've been thrifting pieces here and there and it's just fun going in every now and then and seeing what they have you can find such great stuff stuff here and it is just so inexpensive and so i'm gonna browse through here again we don't know the gender yet so i'm not trying to go crazy and just trying to find a bunch of neutral stuff right now i had some people ask where i had gotten those items and so i wanted to share i don't know if they have these in other states i know they have a bunch of different locations in texas this one's the colleyville location but we're gonna see what they have i'm also wearing the dress that carly jean sent over i think it's so cute i believe this is just made available on their website but i think it's so cute and it's so comfy it's a beautiful beautiful day outside so figured it was a perfect day got a lot of good stuff the reason why i'm trying to get all the guest room stuff beforehand is because aiden's mom is going to be staying with us after we move she's going to help us unpack and everything and so she doesn't expect to have a full-blown room or anything but i just want to have bare essentials for the most part and so i went ahead and got some towels this is the color of the actual towels that i picked up too they're really really soft and Home goods towels are usually pretty inexpensive. I also got this bath mat. I don't like getting white bath mats because they get so dirty so quickly and they just show dirt easily. And this I feel like will be nice for kind of disguising. And then I also got this throw pillow. This was actually on clearance and this is exactly what I was looking for for the bed because now I have the two bigger pillows and then this one will go in the center. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really pretty just kind of sage green color. It's really, really light. And I like that it's still neutral, but it does have just a little bit of color and then with the cream pillows and then i also have a cream blanket that i ordered i think it's gonna look really nice now my last stop is target i'm excited for just a good old target run i gotta get a bunch of different stuff so let's just finish off there just finished making one of our favorite dinners this is from half baked harvest it's her sticky apricot chicken it's a sheet pan recipe but i actually do the chicken in the air fryer because it makes it a lot more crispy and i also like to double the sauce because i personally like a lot of sauce and i just feel like it was a little bit too dry when i would do it with the amount that she had but once i doubled it it's really really good so easy too good morning it is actually quite a few days later it is tuesday today i don't even remember the last time i vlogged but i just figured i would vlog today to kind of close out this vlog because we have a fun day ahead of us and we're starting with a little walk with cash i took him to my favorite area to walk it's so quiet around here we basically live in a construction site right now it is not fun i'm so ready to move we move in less than two weeks and i just cannot wait because it is so stressful to drive around to walk around our apartment right now it is not fun and so i love taking him here to walk it's just so nice on the mornings that i don't work out i have my 15 week appointment today so i'm skipping my workout this morning i'll probably try to do it this evening or just skip today which is fine and just walk today which i've been doing too but i love 
the days that I have appointments, it's the best feeling because you just don't have them very often. And so it's fun to get to check in on the baby. And I don't have an ultrasound or anything today, I'm pretty sure, but it'll still be nice to go in. And Aiden always comes with me to my appointments too. So it's really fun to get to have him come. I always tell him that he doesn't need to come to the ones where we don't do ultrasounds. The next one is gonna be the big one, the 20 week appointment, but he just likes to come to all of them. And so he always works from home on these days and it'll be nice. And then after that, I actually got invited to do a spa treatment, which I will share later about. I'm really looking forward to that though. I feel like I haven't done something like this in a while and so it's a little PR event which will be fun. I'll take you guys with. I can't remember if I've shared that this is one of my favorite Starbucks drinks right now but I wanted to share it. It's an iced dopio espresso. I do three shots but I do it two-thirds decaf with one pump of toasted vanilla syrup. I usually do oat milk in it too and yeah I do it in a grande cup and it's really good. This has been kind of my go-to drink lately. I feel like I shared a different one before but also I self tan my face and I totally forgot this little area right here so I have this little triangle go up the top of my head so just ignore that I just got ready for the day and I wanted to share this top because I actually just got this from Amazon and I think it's so cute. The quality is so nice on it. I think it comes in a few different colors. I'm wearing an extra small, which surprisingly fits really well. I usually am a small in tops like this, but I just think it's so cute. And then this skirt is from Brandy Melville. I'm basically living in skirts and dresses right now because none of my pants fit. I'm just in a weird in between where maternity stuff would look weird on me, but I also don't wanna buy a lot of maternity stuff. So I'm just trying to wear things that I have. So this skirt has been a go-to. I need to grab some more just cute little maxi skirts like this. And also this little necklace is from Etsy. I think it's super cute, but my appointment actually got moved to 1.30. The midwife that I was supposed to see is actually delivering a baby right now. So got a little bit more time this morning, which is actually really nice because I have some work stuff that I wanna catch up on, some emails, I wanna work on a video. And then we're gonna head there and then I'll probably head straight to my little spa appointment that I have. I'm probably gonna be cutting it a little bit close, but I think I should be fine. I also recently added this desk chair to my little desk setup. I got this at the Pottery Barn outlet. It was on a really, really good sale. And I know it is very flamboyant, so it's not gonna be everyone's style, but I think it's so sweet. And in this new house, I really do wanna incorporate a lot of color. And I really like the tones of this chair. I think it's gonna be super sweet because it's like the perfect size too for the desk. I just love the poppies on it. I think it's so cute. It has been a while since I vlogged. I basically had no time between my appointment and going to my spa treatment that I had today. Appointment went great. We got to hear baby's heartbeat with the Doppler, which is always so special. Then I went to this event. It was hosted by Heritage, which is Mindy McKnight's new like hair and body care line. It was so much fun to be invited to this. You got to choose between a massage and a scrub treatment. But since I'm pregnant, I just went ahead and did the scrub treatment. I never done that before, but they fully exfoliate your body. I felt the dead skin, it was crazy. To try out all the new products and meet Mindy, which was really sweet, and then just the other girls there. So it was a really, really good time. And they also sent us home with a bunch of products from the Heritage line, so I'm really excited to try those. They have scrubs, shampoos. I think they also have hair tools too. I believe everything is sold in Walmart too. So I'm really excited to try it all, but that was such a sweet event to be invited to. And then after our treatments, they sent us home with these comfy sweat sets and they fully washed my hair. I just feel so rejuvenated and surprised that my makeup stayed on fully too. But what a fun afternoon. It just was one thing to the next. I didn't really vlog too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and head home. I wanna see Aiden before he's actually hanging out with some friends tonight. So I wanna try to see him before he heads out. So I'm gonna head home and I'll catch you guys later. I am finally ending off this vlog. I feel like this was the never ending vlog. And I will just say the next few vlogs are probably going to be a little bit chaotic. I have a monthly reset that's gonna be coming. And then all the moving videos I am not recording out in our living room because it just has so many boxes right now of stuff we're packing up 
orders that I've placed that are just now arriving for the new house and yeah all good things but if you want to stick around for all the craziness feel free to subscribe I should be able to keep up with my normal schedule I might miss an upload once or twice but for the most part I am expecting to be able to stay on schedule so stick around for the ride thank you guys for being here and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye friends and of course Mr. Casher says bye